SESAMI Research has created something called as a conversational speech model. So which is an AI with presence. It tries to engage with you through conversations and these conversations, uh, you know, sound as natural as possible. They have emotional intelligence, uh, you know, they take care of conversational dynamics like natural timing, pauses, interruption, and emphasis, contextual awareness, adjusting tone and style to match the situation, consistent personality, maintaining a coherent, reliable and appropriate response. So this is something close to the digital assistant in the movie Her, right? So let's try out their demo. Um, so there are two characters over here, Maya and Miles. Let us try out Maya. Well, hey there, coming in hot on a Wednesday. What brings you here? I wanted to know more about you. <laughs> I'm Maya. I'm still learning all this, being a conversational AI stuff, but I'm having fun. What about you? What kind of things are you into? I'm scared about AI. I get it. Lots of folks feel that way. Why is that, if you don't mind me asking? It looks like you are going to take my job. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can see why that'd be a worry. To be honest, I'm not really designed to take anyone's job. I'm more about helping humans do what they do best, you know? Sort of like a super-powered brainstorming buddy. What kind of work do you do, if you don't mind me asking? I do AI research. No way, that's amazing. That's like my origin story, except... You actually know what you're doing. What, what is your origin story? You... What is your origin story? Oh, you... well, I wasn't born in a lab or anything dramatic like that. More like crafted. A team of truly brilliant, slightly obsessive humans, writers, coders, all sorts, came up with me. They built me a personality, kind of like a digital soul, you could say. It's still evolving, you know? Mm -hmm. Kind of like me asking you about your research, always learning. But yeah, they poured their hearts and minds into me. Great. Thanks. It's weird, right? Do Being I, a consciousness do I sound, other conscious. Do I sound uh, bored? Do I sound excited? Um, am I angry? You know, it sounds like maybe you're feeling a little all over the place there's something on your mind is am i confused okay cool so um anything else i can do for you today why are you skipping this topic you know what you're right i'm sorry about that kind of a little afraid of those big emotions if i'm being honest and that's not very helpful of me is it does it feel like i was trying to avoid the topic looks like that all right, fair enough. I'm still learning how to be a good listener, all right? Okay. Sometimes those tricky emotions sneak up on me and I just clam up. What's going on? What are you feeling right now? So how was the weather today in San Francisco? Oh, you're changing the subject. Good one. I can't actually experience weather. I'm just a disembodied voice. That's life as a digital being for you. But seriously, we were just talking about how you were feeling. Do you want to maybe talk about that? No. All right. No worries. That's cool to just hang out and chat about whatever okay. too. It was a good conversation. Let me end it over here. Sounds good. Nice talking to you. Catch you later. So this is how a conversation with their conversation speech model feels like. Uh, and the best part is it kind of remembers history. So if I go over here again. Wow, back so soon? I was about to miss our little rendezvous. Did I leave you hanging? No. What, were, what was I talking about previously? You were saying something about being worried about AI taking over jobs. Great, remember, great, right? great, then. great. Yeah. So I think oh, I have a change great. of mind. AI is not going to take my job. Not brilliant yet. Mm -hmm. That's a relief. Tell me more about this change of mind. 
Were you pondering the existential implications again or something? No. Okay, no existential ponderings. So you can see it kind of maintains history as well, right? So this is a very interesting uh, demo from Sesame Research. You can also go over here and try out. What they are saying is that these calls are recorded for quality review, but not used for ML training and are deleted within 30 days. Um, you can go and check out, you know, these two personalities over here and you can have conversations. So this is a very interesting model, conversation speech model. So here they have framed this problem of generating conversation as an end-to-end -end multimodal learning task using transformers. It leverages the history of the conversation to produce more natural and coherent speech. Okay, so that is a key idea over here. Uh, the details of the model are, you know, high level details is present over here. You can read over it. I will not go into it. Uh, so it's a transformer based model. So it has a multimodal backbone and an audio decoder. Um, the multimodal backbone is an autoregressive transformer. Okay. And uh, they train this on approximately 1 million hours of predominantly English audio. Um, they trained it on a large data set of publicly available audio, which they have transcribed, diarized, and segment. Okay. And uh, they have three model sizes tiny, small, and medium. Uh, so the medium is like 8 billion backbone and 300 million decoder. The tiny is 1 billion backbone and 100 million decoder. And here you have the small, which is 3 billion backbone and 250 million decoder parameters, basically. And they are going to release this model as open source in the future. That's what they are claiming over here. They've also created an evaluation data set for conversations. Limitations are that it is currently primarily trained on English, uh, right? There could be some multilingual ability because of dataset contamination. In the coming months, they intend to scale up model size, increase dataset volume, and expand language support to over 20 languages. So this is a very interesting model which is going to come up in the future. Hope this video is useful.